Hi, my name is Laura, and I'm going to show you how to make a box look like a monster. What you're going to need is some construction paper and glue and a pencil to help you sketch it out. So first of all, what we're going to do is make the base um, layer for the monster, which is going to be green. Um, you can choose whatever color you'd like. I'm going to do green. Um, and I, basically what we're going to do is try to find the dimensions of the box um, and, uh, and uh, cut to that size. So I'm going to make, line it up so that the sides are even, but then the top has a little bit of, uh, a little bit of stuff coming out because I want it to have hair. So what we're going to do is now cut so that the sides will match, so that it will line up properly with the, with the box. And now I'm going to cut monster hair by zigzagging zigzag zigzagging with my scissors and this can be messy because monsters are messy and crazy and fun and that's what's awesome about them so there's our base layer for the monster um, and I'm going to flip it over so that you don't see the pencil marks and I'm going to glue that on so just run your glue around the edges of the box and then line up that paper, push it down. All right, and while that's drying, let's make some eyes. And then we're going to fill that in with eyeballs later. If you have googly eyes, they'd be perfect here. If you don't, you can totally draw them on, or you can, uh, you can cut out another sheet of paper to put them on. Whatever you'd like to do. All right. So now we've got the eyes on. And now we need a monster mouth. I'm modeling it after a monster in my brain which I like. And you can make it scary, you can make it nice, whatever. Mine's nice. Actually, you know what? Maybe I want my monster to be scary. So I'm giving him a frowny face. And pout and his mouth's open. So now I'm going to cut out some actual eyeballs for my monster. Like that. And I'm going to cut out another one for the other side. And basically, you can go from there. You can add ears, you can add more hair, you could make it furry if you wanted to. Um, you can do whatever you can think to do and style it however you would want to style it. But these are the basic ideas. You sketch it out, you cut it out, and then you have your monster box. And the best thing about it is that it still functions. You can still use the box. So that is how you make a box look like a monster. I'm Laura, thanks for watching.